This might be my favorite poem I've ever written. <coughs> it's about being a poet. It's called I Am a Poet. <laughs> I am a poet. I don't wear a black turtleneck and beret to art show openings, slurring the word actually into a glass of red wine and throwing about words like aesthetic and esoteric and vagina. <laughs> I prefer writing poetry to talking about it, but just this once I'll do them both at the same time. I am a poet. I'm not a beatnik and I don't want you to snap your damn fingers after I'm done reading. I believe it is better to have one's idle hands manipulated by the devil than to play a pair of bongos. I think Jack Kerouac is overrated, but Allen Ginsberg is not. I know it's best to read to a drunken audience because they may often ignore you, but when they like you, they really like you. <laughs> I am a poet. I don't write pot-inspired or LSD-soaked mystical metaphysics. I don't extol the virtues of group sex, especially where group sexually transmitted disease is involved. I don't woo tender young girls back to my loft and ply them with burgundy wine, cheap grass, and cryptic word hieroglyphics that are all high-minded code messages for I'm hurting to get laid. <laughs> I used to be married. I like the legal drugs. I don't care if you smoke cigarettes, and I don't think Jim Morrison said much worth saying beyond the pose. I am a poet. I am not obsessed with sex and death. I have the sex drive of a clinically depressed, neutered sloth living in regions of the Arctic where it is literally too cold to get a boner, conditioned by renegade naturalists through the use of various audio and visual stimuli to burp up vomit every time it encounters a female of its own species it is not married to or dating long term. <laughs> I prefer to labor under the illusion that those who aren't never were, and that death is a fabrication propagated by the funeral home industry and an international cemetery burial plot cartel. I am a poet. That means I submit my work to magazines to be published. I get lots of rejection slips. I also get acceptances. When rejected, I don't rail against the editors who did not choose me. I don't proclaim my misunderstood genius to the world. I don't crack a glass fragile ego and threaten suicide, go on a three-week bender and come back pretending it was a spiritual experience. <laughs> Neither do I labor under the pretense that this will bring me fame and fortune, though truth be told, if it did, I'd take it. <laughs> I am a poet. I don't know a damn thing about nature. I haven't got a clue about meter. I haven't intentionally rhymed anything since 1983. I don't sell my work to greeting card companies. I don't know anything about the sexual organs of flowering plants. Greek mythology is all Greek to me, and I had a thesaurus, but I burned it in the middle of the night. Outside, in a stiff wind, my house almost caught on fire. The moon wasn't even out. There was nothing profound about the experience, but there may be something profound about this.